Hi, my name is Raj and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a software engineer by profession and I have experience building a lot of front-end applications. In the course of last six months, I built my own online shop and also I built my personal portfolio website. When I was building them, there was this one component that took a lot of time for me to finish and to perfect and it was the navbar headers. Um, they usually carry a logo on the left side and on the right side, they have some links. When you click on the links, you change from one route to the next route on your app. And the problem is they need to be responsive. That means on the mobile devices, they need to have an icon. Uh, when you click on them, the nav link container drops down. And then when you click on the close icon, they need to close back up again. And I wanna share with you how to build this component in under seven minutes. For this, I'm going to use Tailwind and Remix, which is again a framework that's built on top of React. Enough talking, let's get our hands dirty. I will also share the link to the GitHub repo where this code lives. You can also go and play around with the code as well. Okay, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a header component that we just talked about. And I'm gonna add a dark background first and I am going to make it sticky. I'm going to make it uh, top zero so that it can stick to the top of the page. And um, also I'm going to give it Z index 20. So that means it's always on the top of other components. And then I've got a margin X auto. We also want to justify the contents that we have there. That means there should be a space between the logo and the Navlinks container. So that's the reason why we have it. And I'm going to go ahead and create uh, the logo component right now. Uh, that we talked about, um, the logo component is fairly simple. It just contains one image that we have. And I'm going to give um, width and height to the image. And they are part of the static folder for us. I mean, you can also keep it in any other place that we want. And that's it. So our logo component is ready. Now I'm going to uh, go ahead and import this logo component in our header component. Right now I'm going to build the nav links container. That's going to contain the links. Now let's go ahead and add some classes um, to the Navlinks container. So I wanted to take one by third of the width. I also wanted to justify the space between the contents. And I'm going to add some menu icons for the mobile view. local state for this component so in order to track the open and the closed states of this icon let me go ahead and create a toggle navbar function and on a button click what i do is that i call the toggle navbar I can see both the buttons and the navbling container on the same view. So that means we need to hide it. We need to hide one and show the other. So we show the navlinks container on the desktop view and on the mobile view, we show the icon to open the navlinks container. So let's go ahead and fix that. The icon is not in a right place right now. The icon is fixed as you can see. 
but then um, the Navlix container looks a bit cramped. Let's just uh, assign a width full so that it can take the full width of the container. Now we have both the button for the mobile view and the Navlinks container for the desktop view ready. Add the same container of the links, but for the mobile view. Right now, there is this important thing that you have to understand is that we have flex basis and I've just given that full. It's still not working properly. And then we're going to add one secret sauce at the end. The secret sauce is the flex wrap. When you give flex wrap, what happens is that the parent will just wrap the last item to the next line. And since we have given the flex basis full, to the last item that you see, that's the Navlinx container. This expands to the full width of the container. Here, uh, I've used the React Routers Navlink component in order to have this active state. Here you can see the code base um, and you can just go play around with it. I've also deployed one version of the app and you can see this navbar in action and hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more content like this please leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video.